My name is Andrew Curry. Um, I want to read, first of all, from Philippians chapter 1, just three verses. Philippians chapter 1, verses 3 to 5, Paul writes to the church in Philippi, and he says, I thank my God and all my remembrance of you, always in every prayer of mine, for you all making my prayer with joy because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now. As I began to prepare for today and to think about what I wanted to say in my senior testimony, I was struck by the kindness and the goodness that God has shown to me first and primarily through the local church. Um, I grew up in a different country where people talk a little bit differently. Um, my dad was a pastor and it was through the witness of him and my mum that I came to know the Lord whenever I was younger, but it was through the pouring in of different men and women in our local church that I grew up to understand the Bible better and to love my Lord more. Um, at home, I was working as a fifth grade elementary teacher and I was preaching two or three times most weekends, starting to feel a little overwhelmed and a little cut off from my local church. I sat down with my elders and I began to ask them if they could help because I, I didn't want to neglect the church that I was part of. And in wisdom, they told me that they believed that this was the time for me to, to go and get training and that I could look anywhere in the world and they would be happy to send me. Now, there's a lot of places to go into the, in the world to train. So I began that search and it just happened that I went to a lay uh, a lay training day for lay preachers and uh, a man, Philip de Corsi, was speaking at that training day and he grabbed me and he told me specifically about the Master's Seminary and said it would be the best place for me to go. So I did my research while I continued to research everywhere else and the one thing that stood out about the Master's Seminary was the close connection that it had to the local church. It, it, it was on the campus of a local church. It had a very strong association with Grace Community Church. But not only that, the faculty and men who I would be studying under were men who believed and were active in the local church. And sadly, I couldn't find anywhere else that was exactly like that. So I packed my bags, not that there was much to pack, and came across to a seminary. When I arrived, I didn't really have anything. Uh, in fact, before I came, I, I wasn't even sure if I would be able to. And I remember picking up the phone one day to call uh, Mr. Merringer and to uh, tell him that though the seminary had been kind in accepting me, I didn't feel I was going to be able to come and to uh, participate in uh, life at Master's Seminary. But it was one of your unusual American holidays, and so nobody answered that phone that day. <laughs> That night, my dad arrived back after having visited one of the old ladies in the church who was uh, homebound and not able to, to leave. And I had never actually met this old lady, but she heard about my desire to go and train and she sent a check, a check for $1,000. And it wasn't everything that I needed, but it was a huge testimony to God's goodness and God's kindness. And through people like that old lady, God the whole way through seminary has sustained and cared for me. I remember arriving out and uh, a young man at Grace Community Church picked me up, took me to his house, realized I had nothing, so gave me his mattress uh, and found me a car and took care of me. I remember being able to go with him to a Bible study where I was able to get involved. I remember many people from that Bible study and in the rest of the church inviting me over to their homes on Sundays after church uh, in kindness, feeding this starving seminary student. Every time I would sit down at the dinner table, they would serve me corned beef and cabbage, <laughs> which I'd never heard of in my life. <laughs> I thought it was the equivalent of tri-tip, a Californian tradition. <laughs> I got involved in the church here. Um, I found my wife uh, in the church here. We experienced support in the church here. I remember uh, when my wife was pregnant, uh, she, uh, we thought she had miscarried. And for, uh, for, for two weeks, we were grieving 
reading safe in the arms of God, being supported by elders in the church and visited by members in the church, being assured of prayers by the faculty here. And two weeks we went in for a scan thinking that she may have had cancer and we found out that there was still a heartbeat. Today we have a beautiful daughter. God has been so kind. We look forward to what he has for us in the future. We look to the church for guidance about that. I have the privilege of working with the junior high students at this church and getting to sit under the leadership of the elders in this church. I look forward to one day going back to Ireland to bring something of this good news of the gospel to the people there. And I look to the elders here and men at home who have supported me for guidance, knowing that God, who has proven that the church is a church that supports and loves, will be the same God who through the church guides us in the future. Thank you.